So when in this tower go cuckoo again? This is a private matter, so just move along. Wait, he might know Barry. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petrova. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. Let's see what I can do. Hey, Barry, everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Uh, try again later. Barry, am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. You don't forget a cock thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? I just want to see what was shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. I think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? You don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. And you get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. I lost someone close to me, too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. It's about Andrew. I, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but... She's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes, according to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive? If he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care.
Got it's you. Dry, sun you talk to Barry. Way, nice you finally decide to get his shit together. Who cry out loud, Mendez? Hey, so what did Barry tell you exactly about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. He's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? Clearly he couldn't stand his job and didn't have anyone to talk to about it. He said you didn't even try to understand him. See? Was I right? Uh, give me a break. Barry likes playing the drama queen. You just gotta shake some sense into him, trust me. We'll see. We'll have to check in on him later. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Got another dry, sun-filled week coming your way, Night City. But soak in that sun while you are conditioned as Barry. you the weekend. Barry, you fucking asshole! I'm sorry, okay? Mendez, it's too late. He can't hear you. Your, your genes were fine, Barry. You were the strongest son of a bitch I knew. I'm so, I'm so sorry, Barry. I, I'm sorry. One, two, back it up! <laughs> 